Welcome back to another episode of The Echo with your host, Apollo PN. I'm Katie. And I'm Jeffrey. And we're here to discuss what's going on in the world and uh, pop topics. There's a lot going on. Uh, there is. But before we get into that, like, how you guys doing, though? It's been a while. I'm good. Yeah. You know, got my nose done, henna done. Here we go. Yeah, it. nice. Not too bad, not too bad. How y'all been? Where you been? Man, I've been out here chilling, man. <laughs> A traveler. <laughs> Hold on, no, no. We, we went a to the traveler. same spot. Tra- we went to the same spot. Don't, yeah. don't, don't cap. A traveler. Don't cap. The reason why we haven't been here for so long because, you know, you went on vacation. Mm-hmm. Vacation. I went yeah. to Alberta. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, nice. I went out there as well. We didn't link. No, we didn't link. I didn't want to see him. So and Jeff, what were you doing while we were on MIA? Just grinding and working. That's were you all really? I yeah. All I did was put in work, you know? Okay. Chasing the bag. You say cheeks in the bag? Chasing the bag. Oh, oh my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, this guy's some pussy. <laughs> I was actually looking at you like, fam, what? No. <laughs> I was like, what are you saying? I'm dead. <laughs> no, I was actually confused. You said cheeks in the bag. I no, heard, I didn't. I heard cheeks in the bag. Get your ears checked, my guy. That's crazy. Let me yeah. find out. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo is so mixed up. Okay. We haven't even started. We just came back and you're already after him. Put the cheeks in the bag. <laughs> nah, that's All crazy. Right. All right. Uh, let's talk about so a lot of music came out this recent uh, this week and last Friday. week mm-hmm. i know jeff's the music guy what you got to say about some of the stuff that just dropped yeah there's been a lot of a lot of music that we can talk on uh but the first one we have to talk about is pop smoke yes, yes yeah. sir so pos, uh, pop smoke released his posthumous posthumous <laughs> i'm posthumous. still posthumous. Posthumous. posthumous his second posthumous yeah. album yeah uh called faith now this is coming off after last year's uh, release, mm-hmm. yeah. and that was very well received. Mm-hmm. This one, however, wasn't as well received. And I guess l- like to hear your thoughts on the album if you guys listen to it. Yeah, I listened to it. I mean, I turned it off somewhere through the middle. It just didn't feel the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think because of last year, uh, the posthumous album we had. First off, we had uh, Wel- "Welcome to the Woo" or mm-hmm. "Welcome to Woo." I forget. Yeah, what? I remember the mixtape. What's, what was it called again? Yeah. Oh, meet the woo. Meet the woo. Meet the woo. Yeah, yeah. 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 Meet the woo. Too cool. Came yeah. out at the top yeah. of the year. Yeah. He passed away, and we're still going through like the the grievances of like yeah. what happened to Pop Smoke. He got right. on too soon. Mm-hmm. Um, and then find out all his murders and killers and stuff exactly. like that t- took his life. And then when he dropped the posthumous album, he had Fifty Percent behind it. Yeah. We had Quavo, all this stuff that you know popped out, and it just made the album so much just more anticipated and just hit a little different just because mm-hmm. his sound was a little bit more you know recent yes you know, a year later i'm talking you know that the sound's not as re- necessarily relevant as well as uh, the album didn't come out with the same type of like feel because it would feel like they're using a lot of recycled bars literally yes. recycled bars. You know? and uh it just felt forced you know and rushed yeah exactly yeah. and I there's would- a lot of people that i don't even know who's on the album like yeah you know? where's yep. Favi again <laughs> there was they left off the off the off the album again. Unless they're gonna put on the deluxe again. Well, one thing I wanted to no. point out in terms of features and production, there's a lot of good music influence. See yeah. Kanye and yeah. Pusha T. What are you guys' thoughts on that too? Because I thought the production personally went, went downhill compared yeah. in comparison to the last album. To be honest, if Pop Smoke was alive, I don't I wouldn't see him working with Pusha T. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. No, too. I was like, where did this man Dream, come from? <laughs> or Rick Ross, really? All uh, these artists. Yeah, I th- what do you think, first of all? Okay, honestly, I was excited. I was like, you know, okay, Pop Smoke album, but blah, blah, blah. I loved his last album, but this one I was very disappointed. I mean, I don't know why I was excited. Um, I felt like it was rushed, recycled bars, it was forced. It was one of those things where they they literally pushed the album to come out when they should have just allowed the man. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. now, like, you know what I mean? His last album, he left it with a bang, and now it's like just a dash waiting. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think that last album, there were definitely more complete ideas yeah. and the features felt more natural. I felt like he was there with the people and in the process of creating those songs. Mm-hmm. I know, for example, I mentioned before, but um, Quavo and Pop Smoke were working together to create an album together. So you can see those natural uh, chemistry there. Mm-hmm. But I felt like, as you mentioned, some of the artists that were featured in this album, they just didn't, it didn't fit well. The chemistry was yeah. there. And recycled bars, very like, I, th- I felt like there were a lot of throwaways, a lot of experimenting. Yeah. A lot of, I think there was a feature that was just, that blew me away, Dua Lipa. I was like, yeah. what? I don't think. <laughs> what is Dua Lipa even doing? Okay, she's just a flower. <laughs> but not for this album. Yeah, I just think that he was definitely experimenting, but he, it wasn't really meant to be released. And I guess that's mm. the problem 
with Post Harmers. It was unfinished. Album. Yes. And I felt like, um, especially with how well received that last album was, I felt like pushing this one out was a little too forced. Yeah. And there, hopefully there shouldn't be any more music after this. We should leave it at that and respect his legacy. This is a great way to, to kind of like, you know, put an asterisk on Pop Smoke's legacy with this uh, album. Like, yeah. if you, if you want to compare like artists that were here and passed away, you yeah. can look at X's mm-hmm. of... I think X actually X State did the same thing. <laughs> actually, yeah, they, they did the money grab. It. They did the money grab. You know what happens, man. Yeah. I, There's Juice World too. They doing the money grab too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, get your money, but damn. No. Well, here's the thing, right? Like, music is about legacies. Do you yeah. think? Do you count these albums as part of the artist's legacy, even though they might be not their full yeah. vision? Yeah. Because they're working on this, these songs while they're alive, right? Trying to figure yeah. something out. You could argue that with that last album, but maybe this album, I don't know how much he actually had to say in the production choices. He, if he was alive, maybe he wouldn't. Different for sh- choices. Yeah, like, you know, it's, I think, like, I don't like f- with artistic visions. Mm. And I felt like, I don't know, some of those choices, I don't think he might have uh, went through with them if mm-hmm. he was there. No, I agree. I can see that. Different changes definitely would have been made. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but probably some songs would be scrapped all to completely. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Different yeah. sound to 100%. go with it. Hundred percent. Because there's no way we should just stop listening to the album halfway and not go back to it. Because I did mm-hmm. not go back to it. Yeah, yeah. There's not really any standout tracks. And for me, like, I'm like people go to different artists for different sounds. I love Pop Smoke for the New York Drill, like straight up. Even though there were some songs like the the Baby Low Baby song on uh, that last album was pretty good and did very well. But I go to him for New York Drill because that's my favorite sound yeah. of his. So. Where's Chef G? They push. They put a. Sh- uh, they should have put Chef G, Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. I mean, they got Busy Banks on it. Busy Banks is hard, like, but yeah. Where are the other drillers? They, I mean, they, I think they got Rosh Swish on this one as well. Nah, uh, they they could have done way. way yeah, they don't, I don't know if they have a smooth L on it. I didn't catch that. But um, yeah, I mean, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah, <laughs> it's money grab album. Trust what can me. you say? Yeah, you know, well, rest in peace to Pop Smoke and R. R. Peter R. Pop, P. the big woo. Yeah. Facts. Anyways, uh, another big news in music is Kanye West. Uh, he <laughs> announced the album title Donda. It was set to release this past Friday. Obviously, in classic Kanye fashion, did not get released. There was footage of his performances mm. or like video. video of like very cult like personally so, um, okay. <laughs> but I guess what are you guys expectations of this new Kanye album is it a gospel album see I don't know uh, that's interesting I think one thing to highlight for sure this is coming fresh off the news of his divorce with Kim yeah. Kardashian so I did hear rumors that uh, there was going to be a mentioning of that situation I also heard rumors about the Jay-Z feature some people have <laughs> said that uh, that the Jay-Z feature was a result of the divorce because of their tensions between the two families and uh, Jay Z's relationship with Kanye might have been renewed because of that. Mm. But imagine yeah. that. Imagine breaking up with your, your girl <laughs> <laughs> and your man's go like, you know what? I you again. Come here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the music industry be sometimes. They hella petty. <laughs> That's mad. But yeah, going back to the question, what are you guys' expectations for this upcoming album? If it's a gospel album, uh, I really don't have that much expectations for it. But if it's going, if Garnet is back in his old bag, back. cussing, mm-hmm. you know, talking about, you know, all Real that, shit. You know, yeah, that shit, then I most definitely expect, I most definitely can't wait to hear it. Yeah, I think what uh, little baby and Dirk talking about how they have like features with Kanye. Little Dirk did say mention yeah. of uh, something about making the plane or yeah. jet or whatever. And then what little Dirk? Yeah, and what little no little baby said he missed the plane or little Dirk. Little Dirk, know. I saw little Dirk. Yeah, and he said no, he made Kanye jet. <laughs> he made Kanye jet. So I'm like, all right. So is little Dirk on this gospel album? And what is he talking? He's talking about that shit. What are you talking about? You know, I want to know. Little, if little Dirk's on a gospel album, I don't really don't want to hear. It. <laughs> I want to hear him talking about the ops. You yeah. know, people running up on him. He's running down with the blicky. <laughs> I want to talk. I want to hear. That's why I look. Like, what do you what do you also want to hear from Little Dirk? You don't want to no, hear him talking about God. True, it's God. true. You really don't want to hear him talking about God. No, I hope it's old Kanye because like I, I don't really listen to any of the new stuff that that he kind of drops. But old Kanye, when he's talking real shit, what's happening around the world, or like just like black social issues, love, mm. like all that type of stuff. The thing with Kanye though, it's hard to predict what it's true. because he's all over the place, just like his personality. And I guess in some ways that's why people love him and still respect the artistic visions he decides yeah. to go toward with each project. Uh, 
I don't know what to expect either because mm. again he was on that gospel wave yeah um, but is he going to carry that over again yeah well he did get success he won like gospel awards like the Grammys and stuff and people in the gospel community were furious mm-hmm. <laughs> damn yeah yeah whatever he, and plus well, I think he slowed down with Sunday service because of the yeah. whole COVID oh yeah he did have yeah. that thing yeah. he did have that I want to know if, he, if to be honest this is a great time to be like the guy to double down on the whole religious thing but like if he's going back to his old self then he did a he did a he pulled a mace mm-hmm. you know i feel like some people are, are predicting that it's going to be one of his better albums because the way he's expressed about that that marriage was that yeah. he finally became free and he was emotional and crying from from sources that i've heard not um, him coming back from the sunken place <laughs> Kanye is a chameleon, if you don't ask me. <laughs> I'm actually screaming, though, because that phase, wow. So you thought he was locked in the sunken place? No. I thought he was happy. Well, Kanye looked like the happiest where, I've ever seen When him. he was in the relationship? Yeah. I mean, you don't think that's part of an that. image, though? Some people because can argue. Because the thing about the Kardashian brand is about image and, like, like fake. He gave that woman four kids. I don't. You don't give someone four kids out of, like, just disappointment. But he had those People moments. do it all the time. He had... <laughs> Four at all? Five, six, seven, eight. Four? <laughs> <laughs> Not Nick. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, the kid. The kid is a whole. I'm actually screaming. I mean, it's the twins for me. Damn. It's every every time twins. Album, but there's some choirs tracks according to the listening event. There's some choir tracks. Mm. So he doing he's like doing like the Jay Z horns type of thing. Yeah. All right. I'm Jay-Z. excited about the Jay Z feature. Yeah. Jay Z never Jay-Z. can do any wrong. Jay Z can do wrong, actually. Oh. Jay Z can oh, do wrong. wrong. <laughs> Not Jay Z doing wrong. Don't be out here dick riding. Come on. <laughs> Jay Z can do wrong. This is the last time I listened to a Jay Z track. <laughs> Just throwbacks. Like, I don't really listen to it. 444 was fire. Yeah, but like that was like three, four yeah, years ago. He he well, he's basically retired at this point. When, when was the last time he even dropped music? He dropped music at the same time Nas dropped an album. Really? That was yeah, when because was it was that? trash. It was called Black. Was Black. Black. Wait, Nas's album or Future? no? The Jay Z did. Nas dropped an album. Jay Z dropped a track. And it's called Black. Black oh. something. Black mm. Samoth or it was. Just, it was supposed to be the oh. soundtrack for the Brockhampton. Oh, okay. Uh, the black type. But what, what's that thing? Uh, black Panthers. I know you did not say Black, <laughs> black Panthers. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be that. Yeah. It was trash. Black well, actually, Panthers. the last time Jay Z released something, I believe, was the Jay Z and Nas song on the DJ Khaled album. So they, he did release something somewhat recent. But and that album wasn't. I didn't even. Man, listen fuck to Khaled, that. man. Yeah, <laughs> they got some fire All songs. Right, KSI, you're talking about Khaled. Yes. Okay. So I'll move on to the next topic right now, and I wanted to bring up KSI uh, because of the fact that he did get number one in the United Kingdom. Now he released his second album called All Over the Place, mm-hmm. which was following last year's album Dissimulation. And obviously, he is someone with a large fan base, mm-hmm. including me, someone I grew up watching, and it probably helped propel his success. But at the same time, a lot of people look to him because of his hard work and mm-hmm. determination for him to be a YouTuber, a boxer, and an artist. It's, it's and not. the fact is that he's going to be one of the most successful YouTubers of all time, especially with his sideman group and whatnot. And I'm bringing this up because it's interesting to see how well it's done in the charts. He had features from future. 21 Savage, uh, Lil Durk, um, and some legends like Craig David, Bugsy Malone, um, J1, all that, and it was very well received. I, like Speaking as an unbiased person here, obviously he's not going to be like the top of the top biased. albums. No, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm, li- biased. I'm like, not, hold on, hold on, biased. I'm not biased here, but I'm saying, but there is, he's, you definitely saw improvement. He cares about the music process. He's gotten the respect from all the Dons in the UK, Skepta, uh, Giggs, Wiley, whatnot. So mm-hmm. I'm just very happy. You named, for you named all the people that were like just old. Well, those that's what's done, like the legends. Who that's cares about them? Like, no, I, respectfully, respectfully. But like, it's all about the new guys coming up. Like, all right. well, you coming for is, Skepta like this? Is Hetty One saying giving them cosign? <laughs> no. Is Russ Millions giving them cosign? <laughs> no. Uh, is think, H giving them cosign? But, no. But he's I'm like not involved. That's not necessarily. <laughs> is Tion Wayne giving them cosign? Yes, yeah, Tion Wayne had this. All right, cool. Because yeah, they they did a song together. I love me some Tion Wayne. Um, but I just think that it's just for what he's producing he produces all the albums called all over the place and the reason for that it it features a bunch of genres um but in terms of music uk music he's doing very well and it's, it's really good to see you know the fact that uh someone who started off at youtube could reach that level and maybe that could inspire more 
YouTubers. So he's just a, a, U, a UK version of DDG, is what you're telling me? Nah, nah, that's a little disrespectful. Because they KSI. both do the same no, thing. No, they I, both box, they both rap. Okay. KSI has been they both have like a YouTube since, label. No, I'm they, getting respect all, to DDG. Is, yeah. it, is, it, is it a UK version of I DDG? I do like DDG. I do like DDG. KSI but, is just a but, UK is DDG. But, but DDG what? is the American KSI. And I'm only saying that because... That. KSI is literally one of the biggest YouTubers of all time. So literally. With DDG. The battle okay, of DDG. Let's be honest. And Y'all are watching <laughs> all the same thing, bro. You guys are you're watching DDG. At least uh, DDG YouTube made videos? the XX double XL cover. What did KSI do? KSI has a whole Okay, but like thing. You made Grime Daily? What, what, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> you can not, you can not disrespect the UK. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's disrespecting the UK right yeah, now. Why are you disrespecting Grime music as if it doesn't slap? <laughs> Respect yourself. Respect yourself. No, I respect DDG and I like his music too. I just, I'm just talking about more of like status in the world. And I think that um, KSI, what he's been able to, first of all, you mentioned boxing. KSI brought, invented the boxing concept for bo- YouTube. Oh, he, he's the one. I thought he was going to say he invented boxing. So, okay, no. <laughs> I said but wait. For YouTube, for YouTube. The reason why you see the Jake Pauls and the Logan Pauls out there, KSI was one of the dons who started that, you know? And then on the YouTube side, he's literally one of the most subscribed YouTubers ever. He has defro- different entrepreneurial things like the Simon, his YouTube group, which is um, inspiring to so many people. I don't know. I'm just, all I'm going to say is I'm very proud of him. And that he did. It's really great to see him go number one. That's really great. You sure they're they're not paying you for this? Oh, <laughs> like I'm just speaking facts as like you know. <laughs> not getting a percentage, like. And I'm not biased because this leads to my next topic. Um, because I think that his number one reign is not going to be for long. Because next week, fully expect Dave's album to go number one. And I wanted to speak on Dave's. You guys haven't listened to the Dave album yet? No, you know you haven't listened to it. Like, <laughs> no, like, it, like it's, it's, it's the yeah. dumb questions for me. We bro. did prep. <laughs> we, did. we did not listen to it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't even know he had an album. I was like, what? Yeah, so I... <laughs> like, <laughs> We did not listen to that Dave album. Yeah. Let's listen to it just now. Well, I wanted to definitely speak on this album. The album's called We're All Alone in This Together. This is the second album from Dave's first album, Psychodrama. Mm-hmm. And I got to say, the I want to start off just with a bang. I think that this was one of the greatest things I've ever listened to in my entire life. Objectively. And the reason I'm going for this is because that artistry... Not Kayatu, get yawning. <laughs> no, I was, like, I was shook it. <laughs> no, that's how that's a, a statement. That's a bold it's statement. a bold statement. That's a very bold statement. This, I think when we talk about the next generation of artists, you mm-hmm. know, we think of like first of all, we have that we, t- we mentioned earlier, like there was the Drake, Kendrick, and J Cole, and then the next generation we mentioned Lil Baby's and all that in oh, that you, side. Are you putting Dave in no, the category? I'm putting Dave in as what, one of the one? top in the conscious side of hip hop because the what the stuff he's talking about in this album is crazy. It starts off with the first track where he literally talks about a kid messaging about how he wanted to kill himself, and that Dave he's was a storyteller. Yeah, and he's an amazing story of mm-hmm. talking about how it, he took that comment to reflect on his life and all his sins there are so many clever bars i wish i wrote them all down there was like <laughs> no there, there was for just, why <laughs> no because it was just genius there's some I, I can't remember off the top of my head right now just um and he talked about so many political issues um i was talking to a lot of uk people as well and listened to a lot of uk reviewers and they were also saying that this album could be one of the biggest albums in UK music history and the reason for that is the political statements that he's making on this album he mentioned many serious topics whether it's about uh, the deportation of Jamaican migrant workers uh, in the UK to um, just the the discrimination against um, black people in the United Kingdom he did so to, for context he did release a song called Black in the last album oh. which was very very powerful yeah, very this cool. was levels above that and he goes into in-depth stories about his personal life in ways that is so beautiful I've almost teared up a few he's times he's almost tearing it. up right now <laughs> I know exactly it was it was great groundbreaking um, great features from people like Wizkid, mm-hmm. James Blake, Snow Allegra. Uh, Allegra. I can't Snow I can never pronounce her name. Allegra. Allegra, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just Love wanted to go voice. on that little rant right there. Beca- well, not rant, but just soliloquy to him because you I. You say soliloquy? Yeah. He said soliloquy. <laughs> <laughs> I just have. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> 
I'm on my music reviewer shit. Anthony Fano, to Fantano, shout out. But uh, the internet's biggest music nerd. Yeah, right no, here. To be honest, <laughs> we're out here no, like. But okay. <laughs> I think this is gonna. I'm a Drake fan. I don't think Drake could make an album this year that could top that album in terms of artistic value. He hasn't even learned heard Drake's album yet. Why are you even No, the, I don't think Drake's... No, but this is coming from him. This is coming from me. That album is Man. ridiculously good. I've literally almost teared up a few times. There was a scene where they had like a mother <laughs> crying, crying about her experience, about um, her son's struggles to fit in, in society, mm-hmm. her how like the, the one theme she talked in this album was about the 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 struggle of immigrant families coming into a new country and seeing their kids going through the same shit that they were trying to escape mm. the struggle in life and that was such a powerful statement and he also like straight up shots he did a huge shout out at, uh, the Chinese government as well for how they're treating Nigerians um, and the continent of Africa. Just crazy statements that I don't think music in today I haven't really seen. So I'll just wrap it up at that. So, you know, Corey has been going viral all the time. I like her. Uh, but she goes viral for honestly maybe some of the wrong reasons or for her just being herself. And uh, one of the few things that she went viral for is the double XL uh, freestyle. Yeah. Which I find very entertaining. <laughs> but Jeff, the music guy, what do you have to say about it? She was dropping hot fire, right? <laughs> people talk about the XL, XXL freestyle all the time, and people talk about the best and the worst. Um, but you mentioned the idea of fun and entertaining, and I think that's her brand. And I think yeah. uh, people need to understand, people need to put different expectations for different artists, and what they're providing should uh, match the requirements needed to be successful. And I think with Corey LeRae, I'm not expecting crazy bars from her. Flames. Yeah. So was her freestyle fire or not, Jeff? I, it's not for me. <laughs> I listened to it just recently and- It wasn't giving, you, it, wasn't giving it to you? She didn't even finish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. Yeah, it was an incomplete she idea. <laughs> Like, I, I forgot what she started saying in the end, but like, it was just repeat. Like, she said the same words over and over again, and then she started twerking. I mean, the thing was thanging. Was the thing thanging? <laughs> no, but like, yeah, she didn't even finish the song. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I was, I was so confused. Why was she twerking? <laughs> Who is her audience? <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, she's bold, though. Like, I'll give it to her. She's confident in herself because she then came out and said, like, she was the best. She had the best freestyle with her chest. Oh, <laughs> yo, she was on a freestyle with. Was she on the same freestyle with, with Ruby Rose and Flo Millie? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, she was, was not on the same. She was, was with she? Ruby Rose. I, no, it wasn't Ruby Rose. Who, yeah, she was. It wasn't with Ruby Rose. Was it Ruby Rose? Um, Flo Millie was on the same one as Ruby Rose. No, no? Flo, Flo Millie was on the same one as. Uh, uh, Pusha Pusha D. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And Lakeisha was on the same freestyle with Pusha D as well. Ruby, Ro- maybe was she the, was she the girl with the nails? Yeah, it was Ruby Rose. That's her name, Ruby Rose. Yeah. I never I never know what this girl looks like to be honest. Moray, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, Hold on, DG was on that freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah we talked yeah. about yeah. it. I totally oh, forgot yeah. about his verse. Wait, how did he do? I don't even know. I totally forgot about his verse. Yeah, thought it was okay. Yeah. Everybody's just so focused on um, Coilerois that all man's even forgot she, about. She captured. She so what? Thing, the thing is, with every uh, what nowadays you got to yeah. capture the moment. She captured. She captured the moment because everyone's everyone's talking about her. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. That's exactly what. Like, yeah. Uh, no, she she knows what she's doing. High key. Mm. Yeah, I think one thing that someone was saying was the fact that like she was talking about the struggle when apparently she, I don't know about her background story, but apparently she grew up in like a very privileged uh, lifestyle. I mean, her dad was Benzino, right? Oh yeah, so yeah. We how is she? Can, can she talk about the struggle? I mean, I don't know. Like, he was Benzino really a, a successful rapper? She also talks know. about how she doesn't have a good relationship with her father. They were on live, and that was kind of a lot. Oh. Yeah, they they're not. Yeah, apparently he posted her a lot, like before yeah. she got famous. Yeah, like. There's. Well, yeah, relationship is subjective, right? Yeah. This is true. This is true, but I don't know. I mean, okay, the thing is, is like, you never know. Her struggle could be different. It's relevant. It's a different struggle. It's not saying she came from the trenches. Yeah, like. she, I think she's going viral today, too, as of, as of today, as, as of the time of this recording. She was at Rolling Loud. Yes. Yeah, with Pressa. Yeah, she, yeah. They did a performance together. <laughs> <laughs> 
Y'all saw it? Saw it? Yo, uh, I swear the crowd was dead it. when she was performing, she, too. The, the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, I don't think they fuck with her in real life. I think it's just the internet thing. Yeah. It's TikTok, bro. TikTok, I don't care what Novi says. TikTok made her up. And then the relationship with her and Pressa. I mean, I don't think the relationship no? with her and Pressa is really taking her out to okay, spiral. I mean, yeah. I don't think, I think it's more it. of a, just a Toronto thing. That's true. Yeah. What's her main fan base? Like age group, you would say? Young. Du- young, young. Like Yeah, I would say teenagers, like mostly. Yeah, most like time. young. Yeah. Like, like my sister, which is. Oh. <laughs> Way <laughs> to call her out. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a fan, you know, she's doing the things. Yeah, but. does she not, like, do people not fuck with her in real life? I don't, I don't know. I don't go looking for her. Cause she be going hard on the stage and just people just be like, yeah. hey, just yeah, hurry it up. Maybe they're just tired. tired. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up. I think people just hate hey. too much. You, know? you think? Yeah. Just in general. People do hate too much. You're absolutely correct. Easy to dislike. Why do you think people dislike her? Why do you think people dislike her? I think it's her confidence. Or I think no, I do think it's the confidence. Yeah. Is the fact that she doesn't sell way. sex? Is it that? Let's go. Let's take it there. Let's take it there. The, is it because? But how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. <laughs> is it the fact that she does not have a fat ass? Huh? It, it's the oh. commentary in the is background it, for oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it because she doesn't have a fat ass, big titties? Huh? No, I really think it's just it's the. Confidence. Is it? No, I think it's the body, bro. I I gotta go take and it the, there. Yeah, no, I think and the it, body. Yeah. Look, you, look at look look at sweet tea. Sweet tea is that so sweet tea? Like does she really like? Uh, uh, oh God, let's let's really compare both of them. She does not have bars either. Exactly. Yeah, hundred well, like, percent. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's, she's pretty. That's why. <laughs> no, she she she's, she's a diamond. Pretty. Huh? Quilleroy is pretty too. But is she is she giving off the like yo that's sexy vibes? It's because it's because of the body, bro. <laughs> I think she's Let's cute. Talk she's a about dime. I mean, okay. Let's talk about it. Here we go, objectifying women again. No, Take no, two. no, 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 no. That's what this is. What the, this is what the game is. This is what the game is. Again. This is this is what the game is. Quilleroy is the disruptor. Talk to talk. Right? She's she yeah yeah yeah. Just look at it. She comes in the game. She comes in the game. She doesn't have. She's not serving body like Sweetie. So, not, so coming in the game, she should be serving body as Sweetie. But that's and what this people want. This is why people want. do BBLs this and what, all this, this rah people, rah rah. This is what people want. This is true. This is what people want. You, you, clearly, we're getting all. Oh my fault. This clearly, we're getting all the personality that we can get from Corey Ray, but we still <laughs> hating on her. Who's we? <laughs> Like the culture. The culture. <laughs> <laughs> the culture's not fing with Corey Lewey the way that they should be. Cause look at that. Uh, uh Cardi B's giving off the same personality as Corey Lewey, but she had titties and ass. And she had a and a and a criminal past. <laughs> but now Corey Lewey doing the same thing. Cardi don't got bars? And she's dealing with a with, with press she's dealing with a press machine. And and people still not fucking with her because she don't got the body. That's why. Oh God, let's talk is. about it. Let's talk about. I'll it. say another. I'll throw another thing out. Is maybe like I feel like Sweetie has more like bangers on t- like a mainstream level than Coyle Ray does. I think like oh, Coyle Ray. Oh, name, name, me, name me Sweetie's bangers. Ray. Let me, is it, let isn't me. like the Act Up song? Uh huh. What act, song? Act Up. Act Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's Act Up. It's Act Up. Yeah, yeah. That's Act Up. It's Act Up. It's Act Up. Oh shit. No, no, no. It's Act Up. It's Act Up. It's Act Up. I'm out here singing the song. Act Up. Sweetie got snatched. no bangers that you you resonated with. No, she has the um icy like, that one. Icy. Icy. Icy was not no banger. I see. It was a. It was a bop. It was no banger. It wasn't a banger. It was no banger. It was catchy. You know, mans were singing it. It was no banger. Mans were bopping it. That song is literally a minute and twenty three seconds. She also had the freestyle that. What was, it, what was it called? Was it just some freestyle? freestyle? She had some freestyle that Look at, you guys are trying to defend Sweetie and nah, you're nah, also proving my point. No, 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 no. She really does mind her business. She been she was cooking nasty concoctions inside the no, internet. No, okay, yeah, that, that was. She was doing all this type of food using it. Is that not annoying? No, but regardless Putting of the Putting Doritos fact, on fucking pizzas? Is that not okay, annoying? Yeah. She was making. She was what, what she was doing. She was making. Uh, what, there's, there's something in prison. They make a uh, uh, what the. Not the ramen inside the Dorito bag warming up yeah, there. Like, sh- that's what's called the spread in prison. I was very confused. People can see it, but Quillery, like, begs for it. Like, she literally goes The attention? And begs for it. No, there's mad girls that do the same thing Coyle Ray do, and they go like, oh, damn, shawty, she's doing that shit. But no one Coyle Ray does because she don't got a fat ass and some big titties. You guys not f***ing with it. it. Let's start. No, let's no, be honest. Honestly, let's no. be honest. I like Coyle Ray because of her personality. You guys don't be liking no, her. No, I like oh. her because she's huh? confident. I'll give her the, the yeah. confidence the con- out of this world, bro. So out how of is confidence world. annoying? She's cocky? Just say that. Just say that. You think she's cocky? Is she cocky or you is she think- confident? Yeah, exactly. No, but There's a fine line. And she look, she, look, confusion. Look at that. Confusion. <laughs> our producer. <laughs> Not the producer being confused. <laughs> <laughs> I got the producer. <laughs> is that... <laughs> 
I fuck with Koi Lurie. No, I really do. I hear voices annoying. Stevie's voice isn't. What? See, look at that. She, okay, what, what's that too far. <laughs> she moving the goalposts. All right. All right. People just hating on Koi Lurie. Although that track, the freestyle was trash. The yeah, I know. Are complete freestyle garbage. Freestyle wasn't good. But oh. like, yeah. It was just, it was just there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about like some, you know, real that, shit. Let's, let's bring it back to like what's happening in Toronto. Yeah. So y'all, y'all know what happened at the stadium park mm -hmm. with the homeless uh, people and their homes getting destroyed. Literally their tents getting dashed away from the police. Yeah. Um, people were also there in support and they were also getting dashed away from, by police. Um, it, it was a mess, honestly. And it was disgusting to see that this is happening in our own backyard. This is like phase two, because the first one they did at Trinity Bellwood Park, right? Exactly, yes. exactly. And it's the fact that you really you see the police officers putting their hands on all these like civilians and like these homeless people. Like, if we are attacking the homeless people, then what do we really have here as like country? I think to, no. Well, not to play devil's advocate or anything like that. But let me find out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> play a devil's advocate. <laughs> no, to this, I think all right. So. First off, you could go on the stance of like, yeah, every human deserves some place, you know, to stay and yeah. sleep comfortably. Yes. You know, but on the other side, this is a society where, you know, you have an abundance of homeless people on, on the street, right? Making people feel, you know, a little bit unsafe. Who's the people? Huh? Who are the people? In what neighborhoods? In neighborhoods that come outside of that neighborhood where the homeless people are. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> it, it, let's be honest. If I'm from a place where there's no homeless people and I go to and I walk past with Lambert Stadium or Trinity Bellwood Park, yeah. I'm trying to have a nice, comfortable stroll, and I see some homeless people uh, just there. You know, sometimes maybe asking me for money during during some dark dark times and hours of the day. I might feel a little bit unsafe. Okay, cool. But like, yeah. no, regardless of the fact, if, okay, if that, if that is like the whole, well, obviously, yes, it is. Oh, the that. government can do much better in regards to just sending police officers to like go dash down their tents. You know how expensive tents are? Yeah, expensive. Yeah. They also said it was a fire risk. No, okay, that's fine. But they could have handled the whole situation much better. Like, you know what I mean? It just, it just seemed like an attack from the police onto the people then. How much better could you handle a homeless situation? Leave the people them alone. Is that really well, provide provide well, provide more shelters provide and services and, i think yeah. one thing i wanted to make notice is last year uh trinity bellwoods um because of the pandemic um i was hearing things about how like this the the city of toronto they do this thing where they kind of the bubble uh, thing with the they, 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 they do this kind of thing i can't remember exactly but it, they have a plan to deal with the homeless but in that year because of the pandemic they ne neglected it they didn't do it. Mm. And there were a lot of complaints of people from the Trinity Bellwoods area that they were finding heroin needles on the ground and shit. And I think that's where people, so at least- That's what sparked it? That is what sparked it because like seeing the kids play around and they playing, mm -hmm. picking up heroin needles. needles, that is a problem. I think people feel unsafe about homeless people. I think it's just, that's the main point. I, I have a personal story I wanna share. So I used to go to York University, right? And around a certain year, uh, there was just a lot of homeless people just coming into the student center, yeah. right? Sleeping on the couches, using the washroom to you know clean up and freshen up. Mm -hmm. And a lot of students felt really felt unsafe. But there's the the liberal students, the progressive students, they were like, no, we got to find a, a keep them here, don't kick them out. They need a home to stay. I remember, and, and you being a woman, right? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the internet's telling me that every time a woman leaves her house, she's often f afraid for her life, right? Am I right? I mean, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, in regards okay, to like safety wise. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah. Right Not all, yeah. No, that, no, just say that. Just Internally, say, sure. That, I'm gonna that. give it to you. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Now, a woman, I remember I was inside the student center. I was inside, I told one of my female friends to come yeah. check me. She was like, I was kind of feel afraid because there's a homeless guy right there and I, I didn't want to, like, you know, go yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. You know, in situations like this, when I say people feel unsafe, you're no, telling people, me, like, who's going to feel unsafe? People no, do people feel really unsafe. Do unfair. Yeah, I know they, they do. There we go. Now, no, no, no. Okay. Now she's, no, now she's no, understanding what, what, like, No, I'm what I was from. trying to say in regards to, like, just, just the whole situation with the police and people feeling unsafe. Okay, 100% people yeah. do feel unsafe, but it's the way we're handling the situation is terrible. Okay. And, like, even with the whole pandemic situation, if we can find a way for people to still eat inside bubbles, circles, or whatever, why can't we create the same thing for homeless people? To be fair, but, though, With, with the whole yeah, that's, um, that's, um, that's what they say. stadium park yeah, thing yeah, issue? Yeah, yeah. They said they were trying to get them to accept indoor facilities, but apparently they didn't want to. I don't know. Okay, well, and at that point, I mean, and, and, okay, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes and stuff like that, sure. But no, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I just feel like this whole issue on homelessness in this freaking country that we live in mm -hmm. is just handled terribly. But and I don't know how to really tackle that because I'm not obviously. Yeah. 
But this is farther than just a Toronto or Canada thing. This is just a city urban thing, especially. Um, I was watching a documentary about Skid Row in Los Angeles Mm -hmm. and how they create like... Who's Skid Row in? So Skid Row is like a neighborhood in Los Angeles that is literally what they dump Mm-hmm. mental health patients and homeless people okay. and it's ridiculous because they ha- they can't like physically put a fence but they might as well put it because that's the way they treat these borders they have police uh, pr- uh, patrolling the border to make sure the homeless people stay in that area yeah. uh, they have specific lights like harsh lights to scare people from getting out of that area yeah. and it's just um, just one of many examples of the homelessness issue in so many different cities and the ev- physical evidence that they don't give a f- about the homeless people. That's the issue. Mm-hmm. They care about like infrastructure as uh, rent prices go up and yep. up and they're uh, feeding to the wealthy. It makes it even more difficult for the homeless people to get out of that situation. Well, like you realize in society, people really only care about the people that are able to contribute to society. Yeah. Think about it. You're right. Even if you're not homeless, right? No, you're if right. If you're not contributing positive effort into society, people do not want you here. They want to get you out of here. But you think about it this way. If you remove all the complex uh, policies, look at it in just a human level. The, compl- you- the concept, po- the comp- the complex Compl- policies that are you're benefiting like from. Like what yeah. though? Like no, I was just, no, I'm, no, I'm, the point in I was general? trying to make is if we invest more in services to get people out of those situations, that's more people contributing to that's society true. in general. Mm-hmm. It's that concept. It's a very simple concept, but I think it's just. But what about the concept of the fact that if you're unable to work and, and feed yourself, then why should you be here? Mm-hmm. You agree with that concept? The capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't work, you don't eat. It's true, but I don't agree with it. And that's the whole issue. Like people really don't care. It's, it's one of those things like, oh, you're not working hard enough. So like you should be in the situation that you're in. Why should they care? Exactly. Like it's literally why should they care? Why should they care? Basic human rights. But well, we, obviously, yeah. The history of the world has shown that, that most people don't give a damn about human clearly, rights. <laughs> clearly, clearly, because we have been trying to tackle homeless homelessness for a long time every time people even bring up the idea everyone's like oh like africa uh, uh, you know third world countries look at your own backyard and one, one thing i want to say is like uh make mention is i think justin trudeau announced affordable housing in brampton specifically i know it's, but not it's because, yeah, because the way that he said affordable where sounded like he was throwing dirt on the name i want you to say no, that a little bit better. Not, i heard i heard he was, was in no, b-town I was not going, Man, said, oh, no, 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 you're not gonna play me like that no the reason i'm bringing that up is because <laughs> he's going to brampton to get votes for the next election, election? so he's trying to he even wore a shirt saying i love brampton I'm screaming. I didn't even know. That. I'm <laughs> screaming. There's a shirt that says "I love Brampton." Goes I how, it goes to show how much of a political hole Brampton has on this uh, next election. Yeah, yeah. actually, because the man was there. Yeah. He was there saying, "I will give you affordable housing." I'm like, yeah, yeah. Affordable housing in the in the suburbs is good. <laughs> I mean, I'm here for it. <laughs> like, yeah. if you're, you know, saying? if you're doing the affordable housing thing, but I don't know, homeless, this whole issue on homelessness is, I don't know, it's not gonna stop now. I- it's I think I, uh, well, not to cut you off, which right. I did, but <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I think do, I think people do have a concern about the homeless people and how they're treated because some people do have some type of like conscience and go like, damn, I really don't want to see people, you know, abused and, and mistreated like that on film. But at the same time, like those same people who do have some type of uh, consciousness towards the people that are getting abused on film by the police that are homeless. They necessarily don't want to walk through fields of homeless people in tents when they're going outside their home. Let's be honest. But where do they go? That's that's, that's something the government has to figure out. Million dollar question. That's something the government has to figure out, and then we got the and the people that we put in place in the government should have already figured that out, or at least try to <laughs> or care or care to care to figure that out. Yeah. I mean, how often do you get people? Home, how often do you guys give homeless uh, people money when you leave? Often and food too. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not. I'm not I won't admit. My heart. Yeah, I won't. Yeah. It's true. You can only do so much yeah, as a, yeah. like a person. Because you know I mean? we are going through our own things as well. Exactly. I guess in some ways it's we true. have to be selfish in nature. Um, but I guess I want, one thing we could talk into in depth later on. I know this will be a topic I want to talk about later on, but uh, it relates to this is about mental health services and just the hypocrisy of hashtag Bell Let's Talk and that how... Talk about it. Yeah, I mean, that could definitely be a whole conversation as well. But in relation to this conversation, it's I think that health. is a huge part of hopefully resolving this in some ways and more investments in that. Real investments, not the fake PR ones that Bell does. So. Mm, go shit on Bill then. 
I mean, <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> but it's true. I mean, we can't solve that issue in a day. We can't even Absolutely. solve it in like the weeks, months that are coming. So we can only hope for the best. Hopefully it progresses um, onwards and like we try to get more homeless people out of those situations and into better homes or better lifestyle. And it's only going to get worse. It, housing is so expensive, man. It's true. Prices just keep on going up and up. But what can we do? So on the topic of Toronto, did y'all check out, well, we checked out the trailer together, actually, uh, Turning Red. So it's a new film, and it's like based in Toronto. Well, yes. they it for Toronto, but it's a cartoon, anime, yes. whatever. I don't know how, what to think of it. it was like, yeah, it uh, was created by the same director, uh, Asian director who created the short Bao, which was very significant. Yeah, that was good. Um, I don't I know. It. Yeah, I actually didn't watch the, that. It was the dumpling one. It was, uh, it, well, good? when I went to the movies, they played it. It was very, like, it was, I liked it. I, I did enjoy it. It was funny, too. Oh, that's cool that when you... you watch it with a group of friends, yeah. it can be funny. Yeah, that's cool, that's yeah. cool. Do you, do you go to, like, um, is it okay for adults to go to watch animated movies? At a certain... <laughs> what What did we watch? We watched, um, no, what was that? that? What was that movie that came yeah, out? Took the Incredibles? I know. And <laughs> notice, how I, notice how I didn't, notice how I didn't acknowledge no, you're it. You're not going to offend that? No. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we went to go watch The Incredibles 2. Okay. And then they played it. Oh. Let me find out you're coming from me, Jack. I said, "Big woman like you." <laughs> <laughs> it's a big woman. Oh I'm still a, I'm still a kid at heart. Okay, big fat purr. <laughs> First of, all, first of all, I wasn't saying that taking that as a shot because I, I'd be a hypocrite myself. I just watched Space Jam and that was the better version of the Space Jam, by the way. But, um, yeah. Thank you back. <laughs> yo, why, are you, yo. why does he do it? Yo, get off it. Get off it. Get no, off you know it, what it bro. is? He actually didn't watch the first Space Jam. You never watched the first Space Jam? I know he didn't. I didn't. Yeah. But, so, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> I was actually calling your bluff. Yeah, wow. I'll be honest, I'm not gonna lie for Yo, the cameras. You didn't, you didn't watch the MJ Space Jam? What? I don't talking about talking about MJ who? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just a raw fan. No. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> when it comes to anything, okay, really. I'll watch it and I'll give another See, take. Like, I don't even, what a fraud. I don't even trust your day no, promise no more. No <laughs> oh lord like was this album really that good <laughs> wow. I'm questioning everything now yeah uh, okay, crazy okay. I was just trolling there but uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a liar no just very quick comments on that uh, Turning Red um, film is I actually don't have much comments on it other than I'm excited <laughs> for it <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah, we'll see when it comes out, to be honest. Right now, all we saw was the trailer. Um, oh, no, 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 go. No, I was confused why she turned into a big cat. Was it a I fox? Was a panda. It was a panda. <gasps> that a was not a panda. <laughs> no, y'all know there's like red pandas, right? Is there? I actually didn't oh, know Lord. that. Oh, Lord. Not, not me saying it was a fox. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a chubby fox. You can search it up. There's such thing as a red panda. I thought it was a chubby fox. Is it really? Fox. Yeah. Producer, can we get... We get, yeah, we're gonna fact check. A cause, red panda. Cause granted, you said Space Jam Two is better than the first one. The, you said Dave's album is gonna be better than Drake. Not a fact check no. with this one. I don't even believe anything you say right now. Like you, you didn't have gold, Google around you, man. Are you sure? It looks like a. He's right. Yeah. It was a red I, panda. I only on speak phone? facts. Hold on, that's a panda. Yeah. That does that look does not look like a panda. I'm not saying that thing was a panda. I'm just saying that could be a panda. But like, yo, it it's been. not even as big as a regular panda. Yeah. But, that it's is. an animated movie, you know? That is Ar Arthur a real artwork? Like, you know? I believe Ar Ar Arthur is a real artwork. Does he look like one? Yeah. Like, for real? Yeah. Okay. I, did not okay. what an, I did not know what an artwork was. <laughs> yeah, they just put an artwork in some, like, yellow corduroys and jean pants and blue jeans. <laughs> I don't know, man. Does, we'll, does, we'll does Max not look like a bunny to you? Max and Ruby? Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, the, his, friend is, his friend is Max, right? Yeah, Max. Arthur's friend is Max, right? Yeah. <laughs> Max and Ruby, the wait, annoying little know, kid. I don't know where you're wait, going. Wait, wait. What? You're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's Buster, my fault. You're talking about Oh, oh. <laughs> <Buster. laughs> I thought you were searching shows. He goes, wait. he goes, his go yeah, Arthur's, oh, Arthur's that, bestie That's Buster, Max. yeah. That's Max and Ruby, yeah. Ruby and Max. I thought his name was Max. Oh, it's my. It's Buster, though. Does Buster, Buster. look like a real rabbit to you? Yeah. Oh, my yeah, days. Yeah, he resembles a rabbit, but that resembles like a red panda some, Are what? Oh. oh, it's a mixed breed. Hold on, how the hell does? Don't whoa. ask questions. That is. Ooh. Oh, I mean, species. They be doing the doing things. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> I mean, the ra raccoon knows how to get into spaces, huh? 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> Okay, anyways, <laughs> let's dive into this whole rich people going into outer space. Mm, all what right. the hell? Are you eating the rich or not, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is just rich people just flexing that they don't care about the rest of the world because they literally have the money uh, to basically end poverty. Ta- tackle the homeless. The, the homelessness. That talking about. <laughs> but they're, no, they're trying to do this uh, modern version of the race to space. Uh, I wanted to just bring us a little like uh, f- some facts here about mm-hmm. the situation. Educate us. Well, I, I was watching a documentary. Johnny Harris, if you know who Johnny Harris is, he was uh, he's a well known journalist, mm-hmm. and he was breaking down this kind of the, just how dangerous this whole expedition is. Mm-hmm. Um, so over the years, if you know a little bit of history, there's been a rise of satellites that have been gone that go to the outer space. Mm-hmm. There's this certain layer. Um, out of the atmosphere that it's that the satellites occupy and they rotate around the world 12 times um, but the rate of how much they're bringing up uh, bringing all these satellites up are has been increasing like crazy especially this year Tesla's uh, SpaceX um, company mm-hmm. uh, is set to release 40,000 satellites into the atmosphere and the danger about that mm-hmm. is scientifically is knowing the speed that it goes around 12 times the around the world 12 times if it were to ever hit or collide with another piece of satellite that would explode to a million pieces the nasa released um something about how there was a peck like a millimeter particle human-made particle that collided with a satellite and it was able to create a crazy dent now imagine satellites colliding and if that were to happen that would cause a chain reaction of more things colliding and it would basically create a layer of human-made garbage that would trap us on earth so that is the huge danger of this whole expedition of putting a whole bunch of shit into space there's only a limited amount of space like earth's already up the world they're already now trying to f- space and we could potentially be trapped on earth but but where are we gonna go well true i'm just saying <laughs> it's just like no but it is bad it is it's bad. dangerous yeah so and i i don't even know more scientifically yeah. the effects that could have on climate yeah. and whatnot I mean, but climate change yeah. yeah but that's already a huge crazy thing and i'm sure they have access to that information but the, the typical theme is they don't give a f- so they're just doing their their thing for their self gain, and that's why they're just sh- putting a bunch of shit. There, there's more commercial satellites up there than government satellites. Take that in, and it's there's like certain laws, but there's not many laws. There's certain laws about how like you, no one can own space. Mm-hmm. But well, there's isn't you. I was about Uzi, to say, Uzi, Uzi just bought a planet. Just bro. bought a planet. I don't bro, know you bought a whole planet. <laughs> nah, you capping, Jeff. <laughs> well, imagine being that rich that you're buying a planet. <laughs> a planet, man. Oh lord. <laughs> was he the same one with the little little diamond thing on his forehead? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Soldier Boy also said that he was the first rap uh, rapper to own a oh, planet. Lord. You never heard of Soldier World? No. <laughs> Soldier World. You never heard of Soldier World? That, uh, no, but like. Yeah. Fans <laughs> are out here buying planets. Yeah, I don't know. Like he's not even going to. Imagine. <laughs> I don't know. Like Our, who? Who even gave him the credentials for that? Yeah. <laughs> no, done. I'm actually dumb. I should have thought of that. Selling planets. No, you can also buy a star too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard of that. You what can, are you gonna do with that? What's the purpose? Is it just to flex? Yeah, it's for the vibes. Yeah. No, it's called people are finessers. Yeah. And they know how to milk money out of others, especially yeah. rich people who don't yeah. know what to do with their money. Buy a star for your girlfriend. If there was an option to go on space, would you guys go? How long does it take to get to Mars? Well, it depends on the technology. I think it takes seven months. Seven months? Seven months to get to Mars. Not even a year? But technology... Up in space? I bet it probably feels like different, like time-wise and everything. Like, there's people who signed up. 100%. I don't know. I, I I can't see myself going to space. I just don't respect humans because we're just gonna go to another planet and f*** it up. Let's be honest. (laughs) Jeff, do you think we've been to the moon yet? Oh, Lord. We're going to that path right now. Do you think it it was all a hoax? Yeah, you think it was a hoax? It's hard to believe anything. Are they lying to us? Is it just a backdrop? (laughs) A green screen? (laughs) (laughs) But, like, on on, on the topic of, like, Jeff Bezos going going to space. Yeah. Before I was corrected, I thought he didn't really go to space. I thought he said, like, that on the 
the edge of the atmosphere. Like yeah. He didn't really like hit outer space. And they were there for what, 11 minutes? Literally 11 minutes. Is 11 minutes like, that sounds like he shot up. And just went back down. And shot yeah. down. Yeah. For. There's a part of me that doesn't even much. believe that he actually went into outer space. Like he left the atmosphere. He was out there cruising mm-hmm. and then made his way back. Mm. Cause I think getting out of yeah, getting out of the world, the world's ozone layer, and the further you go up and up and up, it becomes harder and harder to leave the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. The fact that it took eleven minutes, I don't really know how long, but it's questionable. Yeah. Same where I how what what's his name Lance Armstrong, Neil Armstrong. I'm like who Lance Armstrong? Neil Armstrong, questionable. So questionable. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this is like the modern day version of the race to space during the Cold War between the United States and the USSR. No one went to space. Oh Lord! <laughs> well, co- supposed race to space then. Yeah. Jeff. Huh? Jeff did a suborbital flight, and the like, longer flight is suborbital. Subor- suborbital. Or- orbital. Or and suborbital or- orbital means. Um, well, I educate people that science wasn't my subject. I was. I think I'm right. Uh, suborbital flights differ greatly from orbital flights. Because. <laughs> um, orbital flights need to drop enough power to hit at least seventeen thousand miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean they left the planet Earth or no? I think that that just has to do with Sub-or- speed. Suborbital and orbital. Suborbital sounds like they didn't leave the like- planet Earth. <laughs> Which like I kind of, which, which I kind of know enough information to go like, yo, it's tough leaving Earth. Like that's yeah. just not easy to do. You know, what, what, what I'm more interested in is in, um, uh, you know how we're talking about Koi Ray and oh, things Lord. like that and bodies and stuff like that. Uh, I want to know about like what your, <clears throat> not what your, but like thoughts on the I'm, BBL pandemic. What are your thoughts on the BBL pandemic? Like. Not pan. I don't want to call it a pandemic. But what are your thoughts on the popularity mm. of, of women leaving their countries or staying in their countries and, yeah. and doing BBLs? What does BBL stand for? A Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> yes. And they're going to Colombia. Honestly, Cuba, P- Puerto Rico. I'm big on to That's- each their own, but like, damn, <laughs> it becomes problematic when all these all like younger um, people are now investing their times and like literally saving up all their last pennies and cents into getting a BBL and uh, and also how dangerous it is to to get like a BBL you can die from it mm-hmm. yeah so can so someone explain it. like how that works to people the who process? might get it yes I like a very cool, like a brief version so be, uh, be, a Brazilian butt lift is different than booty shots right so they kind of it's a fat transfer you, right? yeah, yeah you take fat, fat from fat. different parts of your body if and I'm not mistaken <clears> and then put it to your bum yeah I think it's it's safer than getting butt shots of cement or whatever call you inside basements that were a lot of girls were doing back in the day mm-hmm. yeah but, uh, and they also Hmm? It's the second most dangerous plastic surgery. Um, yeah, but like the second most dangerous plastic surgery. What's the first? Wow. What's the first. What's more dangerous than that? No, but it, it is very dangerous, and it's like it's getting to a point now where a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, I'm doing this for myself because like, um, like it's, it's literally just for myself. This is what I want to do." But realistically, it's just the trend. Like people are following the trend, and like this is what society deems to be popping. attractive. Attractive. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It just goes back to like beauty standards. Yeah yeah it is about to be honest like if you're really gonna go under the knife like for certain things like as something as vain as getting your butt bigger right yeah like how much can you really say yo this is for me rather than this is for me to look good for others yeah like how how how, come, how much can you really argue that and is there anything wrong with that i mean tweet is there anything wrong with that yeah day, it, having that mindset it does it's, become it's based problematic in vanity. it does what it's based in vanity yeah yeah no it's tough it's like because, like, yes, to each their own, but it's, like, when I look at, like, let's say my younger sisters, if I see them trying to do something like this, I'll freak out. Like, what the, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's a no for me, but, like I said, a lot of people are investing their time and energy into doing this nowadays, especially on TikTok. A lot of people are literally, like, showing, like, the befores and afters yeah, like, and all this stuff as well. The whole process, they're, like, excited. They're, like, yeah. can't wait to go. And I'm, like, oh, yeah. interesting. I mean, it's a new wave. It's a new trend right now. Yeah, what are your thoughts it, on it? I mean, being, it, being males... Is this what you guys like to see? Do you think that could add to the problem? To be honest, I like my women look like peas. So. <laughs> okay, so apparently. 
This one over here likes his women looking like peas. Yeah, I'm not. Like, I don't really care too much about. Uh, an but ass. with the Coilaroy um, conversation, you're out here talking about. Oh, I like a girl with this, that, Ray Tay Tay. I never this. actually said anything. I like a girl like this, Damn, that. And I, was, there. I was hoping Damn. to catch you off <laughs> guard. Hey man, it's it's documented. I've never said nothing. I never said anything. I wanted the Coilaroy like that. I've actually never said anything. I want a girl like anything else, but. I just prefer, I like, like I said, I prefer a girl a bit like a pee, man. I like a face. I like a face, man. You like a pretty face. Yeah. I'm more of a face person. What about you? No comment. I'm not to speak on this right now. <laughs> it's true, because, I mean, yeah, obviously, these talking. women are doing these things because yeah. this is what they deem to be attractive. Like, mm-hmm. they're, uh, that they're, it's guiding people's attention. Are, are they doing it for the male gaze? Mm, that's a term. 100%. Okay. The male 100%. gaze. The male gaze is a real thing. Yeah, and how does and how does that make how does that make society better? The fact that women are out here constantly saying that we are not doing anything for male validation, and then going out and doing things for male validation. Oh, it doesn't. All right, so all that that stuff that people be talking about, that propaganda that people be putting out, is all false. Talking about oh, we're trying to yeah. It's so it's so it's so internalized. It's like so internalized that men are saying like I'm doing this for myself. Are you really though? It's confidence issues, you know? Yeah, it, in it's, it's way. true, yeah. it's true, it's true. Because everybody wants to look in the mirror and say, oh my gosh, I look beautiful. Don't, don't blame me. You know what men. I mean? <laughs> don't blame me. Men. men are the problem. Men are the problem? Yeah. No, honestly, I'm, I can't even just put it all onto the men, women too, because like, at the end of the day, we can't just say, oh, men this, men that. Like, okay, so take a stand, stop doing it. You know what? I want to even, I want to go out on a limb and say that uh, since black culture has become so popular in, in the white sphere mm-hmm. that, uh, and that black people are used to having voluptuous women, right? Yeah. That now in the white sphere, that the, the influence <laughs> of the black culture is now becoming so dominant and so influential that women want to go out there and manipulate their body in a way that gives them the more African-esque uh, With type the of body. The fufu form. and the yams. It looks like you ate the fufu and the yams. You yes, didn't yes, eat the fufu uh, and the yams. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the acro soup. No, no. <laughs> A goosey soup. Hmm? Oh, yeah. The loaf rice. No facts though. Rice pilau. Okay. <laughs> Somebody get him. <laughs> but it's true. Puff, 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 huh? Puff. Okay, now I'm hungry. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, but no, now I actually want some goosey soup. <laughs> get some goosey soup. Mm, we're pounding the yummy, okay? <laughs> but it's true. Now everybody's trying to like take on that shape. Or even like with the lip fillers. Oh. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everyone wants bigger, fuller lips. Like, the, I don't know. The characteristics that were demonized. Yeah, uh-huh. black folks uh-huh. are now being praised and, and copied yep. to ways that are actually detrimental oh. to people's bodies. Do you yeah. understand yeah. that? You know, people are it's now. The first time I'm snapping to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll be speaking facts. Other times I'll be still be faking facts. You just don't like the facts I'm speaking. <laughs> Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, but 100. percent But it's like, then what do we do? Yeah. How do we control this? issue I, I think that it's uh what dove is doing i think i love what the campaign that dove was doing you know love all which, body shapes which campaign they dove came a long way because even back then like their their ads were problematic as well love all body <laughs> shapes <laughs> let me not start let me not start. love all body shapes that's what <laughs> yeah. that i think that we need to go in that that form because you know i'm all about body positivity mm-hmm. you know what i mean as much as you guys do not think i am <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, okay, I can believe it. I never came out here and shit it on someone's body, have I? No, no, no. Keep exactly. Going, keep see, going. I'm body positive, right? As much as that, as much as that was going on in society, we have to make sure that it, it's more of a consistent basis. You know what I mean? Be positive in what you, what you got. I think you need to nope. ha- say the same conversation is huh? the one that you need to bring to your male friends. Mm. <laughs> I'm not my brother's keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Because that adds to the problem. So the way you're preaching out here to us saying rah, 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 you're out here speaking facts is the same energy you need to keep when you're having this conversation with your mans. I want to throw something out there. <laughs> you're fat. Well, I don't, I'm not quite sure. I, I, don't I, I think she's saying, well, no, but he's saying, he's saying love all bodies in general. Yeah, but... That's it's true. Well, fat phobia is a real thing. Also, skinny phobia is a real thing. Look at you. Skinny phobia is a real thing. To, who's you? <clears throat> Ooh, the culture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, there's two extremes. It's there's, true, like, it's true. And then there's, you can't like, be too Lizzo. skinny, there's, but you can't be too big. People shit on Coilerae because of her body. 
A hundred percent. Because then she doesn't have, like, she looks like she's shaped like a boy or this exactly. and this. Exactly. Yeah, I've people definitely people heard that. Masculinize, masculinize, what can I say? Let me, let me see that. Masculinize? <laughs> there we go. Corey LeRae's body. She's been masculinized. Exactly. Like, yeah. you saying she look like a boy. Come on, man. That is the ultimate yeah. form of, of disrespect to a woman. No, it's true. It, but the thing is, it's like every, every shape, there's always a problem. Nobody is quote unquote perfect. Because even pe- those bodies that are shaped like a Coke bottle, people talk about that too. Mm-hmm. Oh, her, th- her, th- her thighs are too big. It doesn't match her head. Like all this and that. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to throw this out there. What about just the concept of working out? and trying to but it doesn't work for a lot of people right and there's different things that go into that yeah i know i'm just saying like like obviously there's other benefits of Mm -hmm. working out obviously one actually caring about the health of the body but also let's admit like uh, people go to the gym Mm -hmm. to present themselves better to be more accepted in society right yeah Yeah. and yeah I think if you look at the other ramifications of the difference between them is like the, the, the danger. If you mm-hmm. remove that side, there's not much difference in that sense. Cause like, they're it's, modding, it's modifying money. their body yeah. to present themselves to look better. Oh, you're, okay. I, Just I in get that the, side, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying in, refer- in reference to the gym aspect. I mean... What do you guys think about like, the Instagram face, the self uh, filters? Like, Man, scary, those filters are dangerous. Scary. Actually, you know what? I remember. I remember saying something, right? I remember someone saying something. Why do people put? Why do? Why are people out there on the internet putting on filters, presenting themselves in a way that does not look like them in real life? <laughs> like at all? They're putting a lot of effort to not look like themselves in real life, no. but on the internet. But I, like, when you come, when it comes to like seeing them in real life, then yeah. you've already distorted your face so yeah. much to where it's like you're not even. Not even you no more. No, it's not even yeah. Instagram filters. Like filters in general yeah. can be very problematic. I will say I will never swipe left on a person on a dating. Oh. Yeah, with because there are some people who just thing. all filters, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, I've been I've been swindled on a, a couple. Swindled. Catfished? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say catfish. Filtered like, fish. Filtered fish. Yeah. Filtered yeah. fish. Filtered fish. Filtered like fish. You, you see someone on the internet, I'm like, oh damn, damn, and then you see them in real life, it's like, right, damn, man. I was filtered fish. But I've also seen see people who do the filters, but when I see them, I'm like, why are you putting filters? You know, like you don't. Face dysmorphia, they just get used to. The no, the contour of the nose to the T, eyes are like um, yeah. chunkier. You start to see yourself like looking like that, like you think you look like that. That's a mental illness, no? <laughs> <laughs> it's a form. It's becoming like a thing. Like um, psychologists are starting to write about it now. Yeah, and yeah. it's true, a hundred percent. I hate that there are specific standards of be- things that are considered beautiful, certain features, mm-hmm. and um, just something on my end personally. I used to be made fun of because of my nose and um you got, i just you do got a big honker on there dear. oh lord <laughs> this guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no growing up as a kid as a kid um Aww. but i embraced you grew into it though yeah i embraced that shit yeah. like you know i could smell shit you know <laughs> i don't have a pointy the way ass you stuff. looked at me what are you trying to say Jeff? no i'm just saying like if you have a pointy ass nose how are you gonna kiss like you know i'm sorry <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> see that's the problem <laughs> people <laughs> You can't say things like that. I know. That <laughs> okay, was just this, but but I'm just saying in general, like I, there's specific like beauty standards that people think are beautiful, but there are so many different features that make you beautiful. Mm-hmm. So beauty is in the eye of the beholder. They bring in Kim selfies. Yeah, that's the yeah, thing. Like body type, lip fillers. Also, fill- lip fillers. Kylie Jenner. I don't. Yeah, I don't like those LA girls with those lip. Those those freaking. I was about to say LA, LA girls. Oh, I'll just They're say right LA. here. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes those lip fillers kind of do look, look a little ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Because certain body people ridiculous. Want to be Kylie's? I see. It's it's it's, it's manufactured lips. Yeah. Uh, it's not like natural born lips. <laughs> Usually, when you have something that are naturally born with certain yeah. features, they they kind of you look at someone long enough. It's like yeah, they. It yeah. Makes sense. No, and it's weird because like even with the lip glosses nowadays too, they have like ones where it, it just makes it plumps it up yeah. and I didn't know one time like I got this lip gloss like clear lip gloss whatever fam my lips were burning and I was confused I was like what the hell is this and then, and then I realized like it was a lip thing. wasn't there a trend where girls used to like suck like yeah. a cup or something yeah how dangerous that was I don't know oh jeez now probably just the color too which is funny so LOL yeah. I mean Dude, yeah people start to you- embrace their natural looks do you find like start. Kylie Jenner like like to be attractive like like the way she is like, like right now? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. You think she's beat? <laughs> I, you no. think she's beat? What were you expecting me to yeah. say? I, I know. I was just asking. I don't know. <laughs> Who do you think about different types? I'm. I don't know. I'm not into like. And I think the the weekend said it too on one of his songs. But just the idea that like these LA girls, the way they distort their. It's a good song, but yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's too. Like you're just not attracted to it, eh? No. It's too. It's too fake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Too much modifications. I'm not a fan of that person. But f- people do it because they wanna. They wanna be deemed as beautiful. But she, yeah, I guess in the mainstream sense, she is considered beautiful. That's why she's one of yeah. the most popular figures in the world. Yeah, she got banged. But I mean, yeah, that's what it is. She got banged. She got bands. 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 She's Money. a billionaire, no? Moolah. She a billionaire. Voila. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all from hard work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Baba. So uh, this is where it took us right here. This is the. <laughs> this is the ac- epidemic of uh, currency. Then, all right, you know what? Let's end off with like this, right? Let's end okay. Off with a uh, TLC gave us uh, this beautiful song back Which in one? the 90s and early 2000s. I'm pretty? Uh, yes, I'm pretty. You know? Make you feel I'm pretty too. If you ever feel bad, just watch that. And remember, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't go chasing waterfalls, okay? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Because think about it, you want to go chase that beauty, right? And you're going to end up in a medical situation with a bosh body, right? Please stick mm. to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> you're moving too fast period no that was a great song but it's true 100 percent. but i mean we'll see all we can really do is just continue to be ourselves educate the younger people them mm-hmm. but as for what's happening in mainstream sometimes yourself media, is not good enough sorry sometimes yourself is not good enough that's why people try to it's true but it also goes back to like bullying and all these things like making people being made fun of and just not being deemed to be representation 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 matters honestly just so. do what makes you happy makes you confident well, yeah, at the end of yeah the day, that's what it comes boo. to yeah who so gonna check you this kind of this kind of just all reverted back if you want to get bbl <laughs> just go do it by just standards but the thing Basically. is though people will do it regardless yeah yeah but some people might go like you know what have a second thought no yeah no if you're doing it because you know society um you just feel like uh what's it called you have to do it because you want you feel attractive and you want this guy to like you or whatever you're doing it for the wrong reasons i don't know i I, bbls in general don't sit right with me but at the end of the day people will do what they want all right so (laughs) this has been another episode of the echo with your host uh, Apollo P and Katie and Jeffrey and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming at you follow mm-hmm. talk to y'all next time easy <laughs>